Hey guys, so I'm actually just here looking up uh, what you can give raccoons. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to, to make the, the raccoon outside kind of like Meowzy where, you know, it gets to be not friendly friendly, but where I can go out and, you know, I saw this guy, he's, uh, he's like this older guy, he sits there and there's like fucking 15, 16 raccoons around him and they're all, you know, at some points, you know, they're like up on his shoulder like, excuse me sir, may I have some food please? You know, he sits out there, he has a bucket of like hot dogs, which they love, um, eggs they love, and because they have such a sweet tooth, apparently marshmallows are a favorite treat for, uh, for them. Now, they say, oh, if there's a raccoon, <laughs> a raccoon around, you know, most likely it's because of animal food or whatever. Well, obviously we have a, a cat food out there. Can't really take it away because the cats are coming constantly back and forth to eat. Um, so I don't want to take the food away from them. But if I was able to feed that little rascal out there, uh, maybe something like, uh, like, uh, marshmallows i gave it a piece of bread before it says you're not really supposed to but only because it has like yeast and yeast is a fungus uh but it really doesn't matter you know it says it's only dangerous if they already have a fungal infection so um but uh the typical thing don't feed a chocolate um uh, i saw these the, the guy he was feeding them like those generic looking like um layered cookies you know with the chocolate uh, the chocolate the, the cream in the middle and the vanilla on top just like those generic cookies um you raccoons eat bell peppers <laughs> what what vegetables do uh, raccoons eat uh omnivores they love corn berries grapes tree fruits nuts beans and peas melons squash and potatoes I mean, all of which is cheap. Now, I mean, as sad as it is, you know, with the, the amount of money I make being very, very little, uh, I had to fill out for EBT, hopefully be getting it soon. And maybe, you know, because I mean, I really don't eat that much. Maybe I can spend some on, uh, you know, little furry friend out there couple cans of like chicken or tuna or something to just kind of you know you know i know it's not going to be an easy process it's going to be like meowsy but if the raccoon's going to keep coming over might as well be friends with it kind of claim it as my own uh to the point where i can kind of sit out there and you know it'll do the same thing we will like hop over my shoulder and be like excuse me i see you have food uh would you mind sharing um Stuff like grapes, I buy when when I have the money, I buy grapes all the fucking time. The, the big, you know, the bag's like that fucking big, and I just sit there. I'm a fucking grape fiend. I will sit there and I'll just keep eating. And a few minutes go by, and suddenly the whole bag's gone, and then I'm feeling it because it's like, oh shit. Ah, so, um, I love berries. I love grapes. I love potatoes. Uh, corn. I'm guessing they mean like corn on a cob kind of corn, um, which I love. A little bit of butter, a little bit of sometimes sugar, a little bit of salt. Mm. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. Just like me else. Um, what a hawk eat a raccoon. Um, marshmallows eat banana peels. Does does raccoon drink antifreeze? What? Who's trying? What will eat a raccoon? Cougars, bobcats, wolves, coyotes, alligators, foxes, and great horned owls, none of which are really around here. I think we might have coyotes, but those not around here at least. Like in this immediate area. We don't have anything like that. I mean, I don't even know if we even have foxes. We don't have bobcats, we don't have wolves. All this stuff probably is up in Morrow Mountain though, which they're not gonna come all the way down here. Morrow Mountain's quite a bit away. Like it's nearby, but it's still a bit away, so. Um, can ra raccoons eat avocados? Only if they're from Mexico. 
<laughs> oh god. Ah, oh, speaking about opossums, I haven't seen the uh, the possum in a while. But um, I know people are gonna say, John, this is really stupid. It's not a great idea. So, well, I'm a, I'm not I'm a stupid guy. So trying to make friends with the fucking raccoon outside. Um. Any bell peppers? Now, I don't have, like I said, I don't have a problem with feeding whatever is out there. You know, if there's a raccoon out there, like I said, I eat it a piece of bread, I open it to where I, you know, it's it just kind of standing there looking at me. It, it doesn't see, it's more shy than anything, really. I think it's going to be like a meowsy kind of situation where it's going to have to say, oh, he's not going to hurt me. This guy's cool. But I also want a name for him. So. I don't know yet. But yeah, I, I had the piece of bread. I opened the door and I just kind of tossed it there. It was like. And then I like, just kind of ran down. I don't know if it came back, but. It was like a full course meal for it or something. Because before it was just eating like little tiny things of cat food. So. That, uh, that piece of bread was like a fucking banquet. So. Hi, Sam. Or not. Jerk. Um, but yeah, marshmallows. A little sweet treat for a sweet friend. If you guys have name ideas for the raccoon, I would love to hear it. Cause uh, I'm gonna kind of, not, I'm not gonna take it in as in take it in, but I know it's out there. I know it's coming up, and being able to save money on uh, cat food because it wants to sit there. <laughs> uh, so being able to feed it marshmallows or, or berries or stuff like that, I don't mind. Like I said, if I'm gonna get EBT anyway. You know, I'm probably not going to use it all because, like I said, I really don't eat that much. So if I spend some on marshmallows or berries or whatever, it's not a big deal. Squash, beans, and nuts. Do they have to be cooked beans? What kind of beans? Just beans in general? I mean, can I give them a whole can of fucking baked beans? I mean, what, what kind of beans are we talking about here? Um... Like you said, the guy I saw was giving them fucking cookies and hot dogs and uh, hard-boiled egg. I mean, I think you can just give them these whole eggs and just they'll like, and then like, you know, on the inside, uh, potatoes. I love buying potatoes. I always like making baked potatoes or mashed potatoes. So something I would they're cheap. Um. So I have, I have a whole lot of options. Like I said, canned, uh, you know, like chicken or tuna or something like that. Uh, I mean, I don't mind. I don't mind. But, um, yeah, so I, I opened the door and it's kind of like, he just kind of watching me. I tried to slit it through the little slot at the bottom of the door. I was hoping it would come up and take it, but I, you know, it's kind of dark out there, and, you know, where I'm sliding it, so you couldn't really see it. So I opened the door, and I made sure Sam was in my room, you know, with the door closed this time. But I opened the door, and he was just standing at the very end by the door, and I just threw it out to him, picked it up, and ran off. He doesn't seem aggressive, more shy, and you know, scared than anything, but like I said with Meowzy, it's just something I kind of have to ease him into. You know, I'm not... People could say, oh, well, they're nasty and this and that, they're bacteria. Well, that's because they dig through garbages. We really don't have that stuff around here because we don't have a you know, real garbage system. We have to take everything to the dump. And the, the raccoon is basically nocturnal. So... Um... It's not going to waste all its time, you know, at night going down there when it knows it can come right here and eat food. So it's, 
so we, we don't we don't have garbage cans really around here so but um also yeah like i said they're nocturnal if you see them during the day i mean i saw one the other day uh like what was last week on the way to work it was just walking around in a circle when you see raccoons walking around in a circle not only that but during the day that means they're usually sick they might have rabies and all that but this little guy out there he seems pretty cool it's just so cute he like picks up the food he like shoves it in his mouth he's like he just stares at me as he eats it's so fucking cute um but yeah he's not gonna walk fucking 20 30 minutes all the way to the dump when he's got food out there that's stupid i mean yeah, people seem to think animals are stupid they're not they're gonna do whatever can keep them alive the longest though the minimal almost you know smallest about amount of effort they they know they have food out there which is why they come here every night they're not gonna waste their time going over there he said it's like a, a 20 minute walk 20 30 minute walk for them it's not gonna happen so but you know for people who do it's only one raccoon so far and might that's might be all that's there so yeah i don't mind you know marshmallows or i mean a lot of the stuff that they say is cheap anyway like the, the pep, um like beans and corn and all that that stuff's pretty cheap so you know, like I said, the guy fed him like hot dogs. So a pack of hot dogs, give him each night, just a couple hot dogs or something. It's free real estate. No, <laughs> um, so there's a lot of stuff that you can get for him. I know, like I said, people will say I'm stupid, but you know, I'm not a very smart guy, so. Just trying to make friends with the wildlife around here since they love to come here and eat the cat food. So. Anyways. <clears throat> yeah, let me know a name for our little friend outside. I would love to know. Uh, speaking of friends, I saw Musy. I thought it was Meowsy at first. Then I looked outside, I'm like, hey! And it just ran off. Meowsy doesn't run off when you say hey. So I'm like, oh, it's Musy. And then the other one, the black cat, I've just called, decided to call Lucifer. I think it's a cute name for him. Lucifer, he's a black cat. It's like, well, you should just call him Salem. Well, that's exactly why I didn't call him Salem. So his name is Lucifer. You would think he would be like Lucifer, but no, he's, he's really sweet. You know, it's just, he's a scaredy cat. So... And of course, I've seen, uh, you know, Meowsy was out there. And I still need to remember to have my phone with me when I go out there in the mornings. Because every fucking morning, it's the same thing. I go out there. She's waiting there for me already. I, you know, I go outside. She now kind of, like, waits. Before, when I come out, she, like, waits. She turns around. And she, you know, wants me to pet her before she goes over to her food. And then when she's eating, I can continue to pet her. So... I mean, like I said, I would love to get that on camera for you guys, because you can be like, oh my god, that's adorable. From the cat that did it, to, from the cat that just ran off and you looked at her, to now me going outside and her waiting patiently for me. Uh, and then once I get out there, she sits, stands there, turns around, kind of looks back and, you know, lets me pet her. She doesn't have to be eating now. She, I, I, I can flat out pet her. So, it's huge progress, and I gotta remember to record it. But usually, when I remember to record it, to record it, my my battery is pretty much dead to the point where it won't focus properly. And so, I gotta remember to make sure that the phone is charged to the point where, in the morning when I wake up, I can go out there record. But um, yeah, just little interesting tidbits if you guys have raccoons where you are uh you don't mind feeding them you know some people get all uppity about feeding wildlife you know if, you, if they're coming to your fucking house and know that you're pretty much giving them food anyway it's really not that big of a difference so marshmallows great idea um 
can see right there, corn, berries, grapes, tree fruits. So like apples. And all this stuff is cheap. So it's, it's great. It's good for them. Anyways. You got a problem, John. I know. I'm trying to become friends with a fucking raccoon. But you saw that little bastard with the, the, the video I just did not too long ago. Little bastard's adorable. Can't say no to that face. Anyways, that's gonna do it for me. You guys know the drill. I'll see you guys later. Bye, guys.